This is the KeyKid KidPad 1. It's an 8 inch Android tablet made by Itel for kids. There are about four key features of this tablet. The screen, content, control, and the cover. Let's start with the screen. It's an eight inch 720p IPS LCD display. And what all that means is that the screen is large and decently sharp. It might not be the most impressive on paper, but for its price and for who it's targeted at, it's really good. So when your kids are watching YouTube or playing games, they're going to enjoy looking at this screen. The colors are also good. And I mean, that's important because kids love color. Something else kids love is sound. So when they're watching their cartoons or playing with a the tablet, they want to clearly hear the music and the voices. And although this has just one speaker, it is still decently loud. Next up is the content. On the box, it says 300 plus contents for kids. Did I actually count it? No. So we're going to have to trust them. The tab comes pre-installed with an app called Kids Park. And in it, you'd find the 300 plus contents I talked about earlier. It's divided into categories from Montessori to arts and crafts, to mini games, to STEM. And these are just the categories, right? So when you click on any of them, it then opens up the actual apps. So there's a lot to explore. So you just pick what you want to teach your child by selecting any of them. As far as what the experience is like, well, it's an audio visual experience. So your children would be learning with visuals as well as audio pairing those visuals, whether it's coloring or drawing or differentiating between solid and liquid. Apple is solid. Car is solid. Basketball is solid. One thing to note though, is that to leave the Kids Park app, you have to tap on this icon on the bottom left and type in the default parent password, which is four zeros. Or you could create your own parent password by clicking the icon on the bottom right. But besides Kids Park, the tab comes pre-installed with apps like YouTube or more preferably YouTube Kids. So, you know, they can use the tab to watch YouTube videos. Also, because this is an Android tablet, it does come with the Play Store so they can download their favorite apps and games too. So essentially, when it comes to content, you can be rest assured that your kids are not getting bored. There's a lot of content, but that could be a problem on its own. And that's where control comes in. First and foremost, you can add a password to the tab. You do this by going to settings, security, and then screen lock. Next, choose what type of screen lock you want, whether it's a pin, a password, pattern, whatever you choose, just try to remember it. But depending on the age of your kid, this might not be enough. True story, I actually put a password on this and my kid sister figured it out. And I'm sure your kid would figure it out too. Thankfully though, there are more parental control options. Still in the settings app, if you scroll to the end, you would see digital well-being and parental controls. If you tap on it, you get all the options. You can set daily limits. That's how long you want your kids to use the tablet. You could also set a downtime, which is times of the day they can't use the tablet like, you know, late at night. And you can also straight up block certain apps. But to even get more control, I recommend downloading the Google Family Link app on your own phone. Also, your child can't come into the settings app to change the settings and remove the restrictions because they'll need to impute the password to your email address. That's kind of harder to figure out. So in all, there's a lot of control. <laughs> Lastly, we have the protective cover. There's not a lot to say really. Kids drop things, they would drop this, um, but the protective cover would help prevent the tablet itself from, you know, destroying. This protective case comes in blue and in pink, and I think it looks pretty nice. Oh, and it also comes with a kickstand, which can be used vertically or horizontally. The case also has cutouts for the headphone jack, if you want to use an earpiece, 
also has a cutout for the type C port for when you need to charge the tablet. So basically you wouldn't need to take the tab out of the protective cover for any reason, except you want to put in a SIM card or a memory card. So yes, the tab has support for a SIM card and can take regular calls. The kit pad also has cameras, one at the back and one at the front. They're both five megapixel cameras, so technically not the best, but good enough for video calls and the occasional selfies your kids will take. Oh, and when it comes to how long the tab would last, AKA battery life, it kind of depends on your kids and how well or often they use the tablet. But I think for most people, it would definitely last a whole day. But in the event that it does die, there is a charger included in the box. So, you know, you could use that to charge it back up. Some of the things that you maybe care about or don't care about, it does come with Android 13 Go edition. It also comes with 64 gigabytes of storage. But again, if you want to expand that, you could use the micro SD card slot. The KeyKid KitPad 1 costs 75,300 Naira. And in my opinion, it's a really solid kids tablet. But what do you guys think of the KitPad 1? Let me know in the comments. But either way, thank you so much for watching. There are a ton more videos coming and I'll see you when you see me.